that's really beautiful, babe. Okay, so guess what tomorrow is? <laughs> What's tomorrow, Amara? It's my birthday. Yes, Amara is going to be 22. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be 28. I had to remember them because I um, misremember my birthday. I'm going to be 28. And samosa, I guess, are the first part of uh, the birthday because what do people love for birthday? Carbs. <laughs> <laughs> so I have been craving samosas like crazy. Crazy craving samosas. CCS. Every time I look online, it's just greasy. Every time I look in the shops, they're all greasy and deep fried. I needed a solution. So I thought, okay, I'll make them just like my grand does. I'll make them fresh. And then I was looking at the process of that and it just looks a little bit long. So I was thinking, what can I do? I was looking online at all these places and they all got these weird filler ingredients. Sophia and came up with an amazing idea. This guy here. <laughs> <laughs> that we go to a place that sells them, that he rates, he I loves this place. We ask them to give us some before they're fried, which is what we've done. And I'm really excited to try yeah. them. If this works, this is my new hack. My new samosa hack. Yes, I should make them myself, but um, that's not happening right now. And this is up now. This is elite food, elite samosa. Elite kebabs, this is in my hometown. I was, I was born and raised in these ends, long side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the samosas, brother. He goes, oh, I'm um, uncooked. <laughs> uncooked. <laughs> I'll go and get them. I'm really happy. I hope they taste like my grand. My grand samosa is the best. She's a great cook. Okay, so obviously the true nature of today's video is that it's Amara's birthday tomorrow. She's got a lot of stress on these days. She's got a driving test on friday it's tuesday right now it's a birthday tomorrow we've had a bit of a crazy year so i'm just going to get some like um flowers and you know one of those little birthday balloons like with all the little balloons inside it looks like a balloon that's had loads of little babies i'm gonna get one of those and a card because she wants me to write her a love letter i love letters pushing it i don't have the time for four pages and if i'm gonna write it's going to be the greatest piece on earth so i'm just gonna go out and get a couple bits and bobs maybe put them in the car and she can go in the car and be like oh or I can just walk in the house and have all the things and she can be like ah or something like that But we're gonna figure it out. So we're gonna go on a date tomorrow. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah So just give her a little surprise for her birthday, but she thinks it's all about samosas It's not gonna be crazy, but you know love is love. I'm running kind of late as well I've got like 40 minutes to get there. Look at this. Don't wash the dust And I'm kind of addicted to this Amber Heard trial. So so it's in the background. Oh, we rolling I'm not watching. I'm just listening. So we better get a move on Now I know I keep moaning about the same thing, but I'm genuinely colorblind. I saw these roses on the side and she's done them really nicely, but are these white roses? They look a bit yellow to me. Are they white? Oh yeah, it's a good one. And then I got a little love art as well. Look at that. Ever tell me I'm not romantic? Ooh. So I hope they're white, because I don't think yellow roses look nice. What, what, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Okay, so next, the balloon. Last time I bought a balloon, I struggled with what to write on it. I said, um, my baby or something like that. Do you know when you're saying to the person over the car, say, oh, can you write, I love you, baby, or something like that. Like, uh, I can't be writing that, so I'm just going to write happy birthday. I might write happy birthday, my love. My love, she'd like that. My love. Mary Jan. Me love. Me love you. <laughs> I had a place in mind to get the balloons from, but when I was leaving the flower shop, just as I was driving away, I saw next door, there's a place called Magic Balloons. You know when someone looks like it sells fireworks? It's that kind of place. So I did a quick U-turn, flung back, went in the shop. Then mum was stiff. I said, yo, have you got a balloon? With the balloon inside the balloon? They were like, yes can, can you show me one i picked some like peach and gold and white or something like whatever matches the yellow flowers i picked basically but then man is stiff bro i said oh how long she goes oh it's just 15 minutes i just stood there for two minutes fuck side am i waiting here for 15 minutes i said okay i'll be back in 10 minutes yeah silence bro dead silence so now i regret buying the balloons i'm not paid yet so i'm considering just driving off quarter past five what do you think actually should i just drive off i'll give them a chance in it I give them a chance. It's only for my wife <laughs> at the end of the day. Do you know what? I'm, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. She, she came out to the car to find me and everything, yeah? You see in there? Let me look. This is happy birthday, my love. 
Oh, that's a big stretch. I ain't gonna lie, it looks kind of neat. I don't know why they were being salty. Maybe they were stricken by my beauty. <laughs> Say mashallah. <laughs> I've not thought this through. I was thinking and I've solved it, okay? I want to surprise Amara, so I wanted to walk into the room and see everything there. The problem is now, she's in the shower and it's not her birthday until tomorrow. And I was thinking, shall I put them all in the car so she gets in the car and then sees it in the morning, but then she's gonna go to work. So she's just gonna sit in the car. So I decided what I'm gonna do is get up at two in the morning. I'll run in the living room and set up the living room. So let me just show you what I've got. These flowers, this balloon, this little banner that's gonna say hooray. And I've got these like other balloons which I'm gonna blow up. This little card, keep it ethnic because we're ethnic. Look at that. If I could choose again, I'd still choose you. You can't get somebody off your mind. They're probably supposed to be there. Oh. To love and be loved is to feel the sun on both sides. And then I've got this one as well to my wife, and it's a similar kind of thing. Let's just flip to a random page. I can't read backwards. To love what? Is that the same thing? Eight hours later. So you're just gonna have to deal with my dry face. I've just woken up. I saw one of the neighbours peeping out the window. What's he creeping around? What well, then he must have seen me getting the flowers and everything out of the car. When we opened our front door, it scrapes on the mat and I felt like a proper cheater. Alhamdulillah that I'm not a cheater because I'd be pretty good at it. I'm just going to set everything up and then go back to bed. And just tell her that I've had a big poo. Something like I feel like it's more hassle than it's worth. This is how much we write. Don't be trying to pause it and read all of that. That's personal, okay? Okay, the time is 3.55. I think I've been doing this for like an hour now. I'm gonna show you the final thing. So again, the only problem is, I don't know how I'm gonna capture her seeing it. So maybe she'll have to see it and then I'll catch it again later or something like that. But I've tried, I've tried my best. Happy birthday, Amara. Assalamualaikum, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on a date. Because, because what? Because it's my birthday. Ooh. I have chosen to go on a date with my boyfriend. I'm on my boy for the day. Look at my look at my boyfriend blue jumper. Look, go down. Go you down. have got a boyfriend blue jumper. Yeah, baby blue. And I'm your on, boyfriend beard? But no big I, I got him on beard again. This is my birthday present to you, Amara. 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 <laughs> I got my beard, but my birthday present to you too because I don't <laughs> look like up. a child anymore. I'm on the comeback. I'm 28 today. I'm 28 today, but I'm going to the cinema to forget about my problems. No nah, man, you're the best you've ever looked. Rrr. <laughs> when you was 27 I was like mm, and now I'm 28 I'm like oh we've not been on a date in a long time not had a cinema date in so long that's true show them what you're doing oh yes I eat kind of healthy so when I go to the cinema for the last like few years I've not had a snack so I'll take like fresh fruit or seeds and it's just not the same so this time I made my own healthy popcorn so this is what she's brought I've mixed salty and Coconut sugar caramelized, <laughs> so sweet and salty. Apparently, it's a myth, and you already say that you're not allowed to bring uh, food into the cinema. You definitely. Are. Oh, look at that! That uh, tub is just for me. <laughs> you say that you're allowed to take food into the cinema, and no one really cares. But 
I think this is still pushing it. No, it's I think this is still pushing it. It's my birthday. Yeah. So You're going to stick it on anybody, right? Don't worry, I got it's your birthday. You can do whatever you want. That's she awesome. tried to bring ravioli as well. <laughs> so we're going to go see this movie and see how it is, inshallah. And have snuggles in the cinema. Like, date people. Oh, we're dating. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So unfortunately, I didn't catch Amara going into the room. She actually woke up for Fajr to pray. Just after I went to bed, I woke her up for Fajr. And she kind of like walked straight into the room and peeked in the room. I was blind. Yeah, she was blind and she never had a hijab on. I didn't have my contact lenses in. So I opened the door and I saw like glitter or something. I was like, I closed the door. I was like, I don't want to ruin something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So she's going to open her cards and stuff now. How did you like it, Amara? I loved it very much. <laughs> I did, I did expect that. I was thinking, how did he have things in the flat that I have not seen? This flat is not that big that you can hide things. I was like, where where did these things come from in the middle of the night? And then I learned that he went down to the car at two in the morning and set up till four in the morning. I was really touched. I can't believe you did that. I just like, I think on a work night, that's a lot to ask. And that means he really loves me. I can't believe you put confetti in these two and they come. Shake it around. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the table should look all the time. Feel like it just looks so Remember beautiful. Remember they've not seen our table. No one's seen our table. Oh yeah, well this is our table. <laughs> and I feel like this is how it should look all the time with the little petals all around it. It looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, so ethnic. Oh wow, is this because I'm a Pakistani lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you both so much. Oh, so beautiful. I would say Sophia, what I want is a love letter. That's what I want. You want me so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really beautiful, babe. Look who love on my wife's face. So that was Amara's birthday. Happy birthday, Tomorrow. Inshallah, we make it to the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Be good to your wives. To anybody watching, thinking, oh, you said you're going to surprise her and that's it. You just got a, a card and a balloon and some flowers. Is that it? Shut up. <laughs> what do you think this is? Is he the sofa behind me? Did you see that pretty table? What do you think they just fell out of the sky? <laughs> sometimes it's the little things in life that make all the difference. And sometimes you've got to remind people that you still love them. And, you know, remind them why they fell in love with you too. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Romancy P. Sean. <laughs> Be good. Asalaamu Alaikum Warahmatullah. That is on a work night. Working for two hours on a work night to decorate for me. Oh my gosh. 2 to 4 a.m. Who does that? Because if I could choose again, I'd still choose you. <laughs>